All right, here it is. Headlines Barbershop 23104 State Road 54 in Luce, Florida. This is a day before Thanksgiving. It is like 9.30 right now. They already working. They already working. Loco, Nate, Lex. Shannon's getting a haircut. And Ian. Alright guys, so let's jump right into it. Right here I'm using my Oscar Fast Feeds. Yeah, I went went ahead and went back to these clippers. Um, this is a number four guard on top, and then I'm gonna do a number three guard on the sides. So we're just gonna pass the four guard all the way across, making sure that it's even, and making sure we're feeding into the, the hair, into the blade, and going against the grain to get it even. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. We're also gonna do a, a ball taper on the side and the back. So right here, this is my three guard. And notice how I turn the clipper sideways. That's because his hair is growing backwards and I wanna go against the green, right? So I wanna make sure I feed that hair into the cutting blade. And you, you'll see I'm turning my clipper different, different ways like that because his hair grows a certain way. Um, so basically with this, you'll just take your number three guard um, with the lever all the way closed and then just kind of open it up to the middle and then open it up all the way at the ridge of the head. And basically you just fade it into a number four from the three guard. It's pretty easy. You're not going to really see too much lines um, left behind. One so. of the hottest the house. <laughs> All right, so right here, we're gonna start the first initial guideline with the lever closed on the Oster Fast Feeds. These are the wood grain editions. I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure y'all check them out. All right, so after the lever being closed, you put it in the middle and then open it up. And then that's your, that's your first little step for the taper. And then you might have to go back and start closing your lever to remove any kind of shadows. All right, so then you take your one guard, lever all the way open, and you wanna take the, this this particular client um, in the back of the neck, we're gonna take it to the occipital bone area, as you can tell, and then we're gonna take the number two guard. Since the highest guard on the side is the number three, we'll take the two guard all the way open, and then just slowly close the lever to remove that bolt. And then that shadow that you see right there is gonna be taken out with your, um, zero guard or 116 depending on what kind of system you're using either wall or andis so since we're using the double magnetic guards we're going to use the andis system so we're using our zero guard um, lever all the way open starting and then slowly closing it to the closed position so i'll put it in the middle and then close it and then i may have to go back and remove a shadow with the with no guard lever all the way open and use the corners one of the hottest, the house of creation. I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. Um, yesterday at the shop was crazy. We were there till about 10.30 at night. Uh, me, Loco, and Nate. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do some detail work because we already have a rough draft. Now we're gonna just touch up some dark spots or some shadows. Right here, I went back to my two guard. And I always start with the lever open because I don't wanna create myself another line, right? Um, so I always start with the lever open. If it's not cutting, then I can do trial and error and work my way down with the lever. If I always start with it closed, I might create myself a line that I can't get out. So that's the reason why I always start with the lever open. All right, so now I'm using my Andes GTXT outliners. I'm gonna put a little line on the C cup area. That way I know where not to cut because he likes that C cup a little dark. And then right there we went with the Andes Raver. All right, so now the first guy line again. This one's gonna be the lever open and then I'll work my way to the closed position. And then with the number one guard open, put it in the middle and then close, close it. The 
then this is a number two guard because the highest level on the side is a number three. Um, man, this haircut that I did right here, it really, really made me miss the officer fast speed. I got my daughter with me right here. Leah, say hi. <laughs> Alright, so this is the, the zero guard and we're just doing some detail work. Um, taking that bottom line out that we left with the one guard. Looking kind of blurry to me. Alright, so now right, I'm going to go ahead and line up the bottom of the neck. The neckline using the Anders DTX TI liner. And notice how I cut the plastic piece off, that bulky piece on the DTX TI liner. Um, if you do this, you do lose the factory warranty, so I recommend you not do it if you want to keep the warranty. Um, it's easier to get around the ears, the mustache area, it looks cooler, but it, you know, it's not a necessity. Um, it kind of keeps the motor to be a little, you know, it won't get too hot, but it still gets a little hot. Um, you just always, you gotta build a habit of always turning on and off your clipper and trailer. That's a good habit. When you're not cutting, cut it off. When you are cutting, you know, obviously leave it on, but you want to build a habit of always turning it on and off. One of the hottest, the house of creation. Alright, so basically what you do to one side, you do to the other. I kind of sped up this side because, you know, I explained the other side. So I'm just going to let y'all listen to some music until I begin the edge up. Alright, so now we're going to start with the, the middle of the edge up. And notice how he already has a natural edge. We're just going to kind of touch it up a little bit. Um, I did not use a 245 shave gel just because there really was nothing to really shave. So I just kind of touched it up doing dry shave. Um, I don't really, I mean, I don't recommend it. But if you feel comfortable doing dry shave, then cool. But if there's a lot of stubble and you really had to do like a cosmetic lineup, or there, you know, there's a lot of hair to cut with the razor. Apply some shave gel or some kind of, you know, moisturizer. That way, it provides a smoother shave for you and the client. Sorry, guys, if you hear a lot of noise in the back, my daughter's playing with her toys. <laughs> Go ahead and do the razor in the back of the neck. Also, notice how that taper just pops with that lineup. I think this haircut came out clean. It's super simple, but you know, it's effective. There it is, the number four on top, three on the sides, ball taper. My client loved it. Yo, happy Thanksgiving. I hope y'all enjoy y'all's family. Team gifted, stay gifted.